welcome to Barbell Brigade. I'm Gio. I'm Bart. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. Dun 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 I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other butts can't deny. When you put the little thing in your face, you get sprung. Well, I'm Lou. Alright, guys. How many weeks ahead of a meet do you guys recommend training? Fucking a year. A year? <laughs> How and many weeks is that? I did train a year for my first meet though. For real? When yeah. was your first meet? In Santa Barbara. When was it? June 2000 and... 14. 12. June 12th? Nah, I don't know. I so, was so you... Was you... Like, when, when you say you train for a year, did you just train for a year and you signed up for a meet or... For a whole year, you knew you were gonna do that meet. I knew for a whole year I was gonna do that meet. Oh, yeah. damn. Because I was like, if I'm gonna do this shit, I'm gonna fucking do very well. Why did you need to take a year? It was my first meet ever. I didn't know anything about it. And I, I, I didn't feel comfortable with my numbers. Um, and I was like, I wanna do very well. Because I'm a very competitive guy. Yeah. I'm fucking very fierce when it comes to competition. So I was like, I'm gonna train for an entire year. And I'm gonna get all my numbers up, and I'm gonna throw some impressive numbers up at my first meet ever. Did you do well at the meet? I got first place. Oh, sick. Uh, Dang. Did you do 181s or 198s? I did 198s. <laughs> but you signed up as 181s? Yeah, I was, like, I was like 192 pounds though. Oh, so you're a light 198. Yeah, because I, I was like still at the baby, and I was like, nah, I'm not gonna cut. Because I think you told me not to cut. Yeah, this is your yeah. first meet. Yeah. So I think that um, it depends. You know, like yeah. I had a goal in mind and I was just like, I'm really gonna, I was like super committed. And once I have my mindset on something that I really, really want to do, like I'm pretty much unstoppable. That's no matter, awesome. no matter long, like how long it takes. You're just gonna do it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. What do you guys think? I think for most, I guess from like, in terms of a training perspective, most programs, they run like a 12, 16 week training mm -hmm. block before uh, a meet. So yeah. You don't want to do anything shorter than that. That's the minimum. So you, minimum. Yeah, minimum. Like you want to get a good two, three months of training, and then a, a good uh, peaking and a good taper before you do your meet, and that's when you're gonna do well. So when you see people do like meets that are like month to month, or some people even do it like in two weeks that's, or a I've week. I've seen that a lot. That's really bad. A for your, to put your body through that kind of trauma, <clears> and <throat> also you're not gonna see gains. And what's the point of doing a meet if you already know you're not gonna beat your last total? Yeah. Yeah, so it's really important to get at least, I would say, 16 weeks in. The longer, the better, actually. Like yeah. if, you can, if you can prep, like, so they have a, if you do a super scientific, right, they have, like, these things mm -hmm. called, like, micro cycles, meso yeah. cycles. Mm -hmm. It's, like, super scientific how they break it down. Yeah. Once you become the super duper, mooper, pooper, looper, looper, hooper, hooper, shooper, juper, juper elite, elite athlete, snooper. Like at the Olympic level, they they actually program for Micro, four years, meso, yeah. and they do four years. Wow, that's that's how long their programming is. They yeah. they they actually program. Okay, like every uh, every year is this cycle, and then we're gonna run four of these blocks, mm -hmm. and then that's how it's gonna roll, and you're gonna peak for the Olympics because that is the only meet that really matters. And this this is goes across like uh. all all sports that are just pretty much. Um, like okay, like single single skill. Uh -huh. Like for basketball, it's hard to peak for basketball. Yeah, right? there's like strategy and all that. But mm -hmm. in terms of like shot put, sprints, high jump, weightlifting, that's how they peak. Yeah, and so they prep for four four Fuck years. That. Can you explain to people that don't know what peaking and what tapering means? Oh, true. So peaking is um, so for example, like if uh, if you're training hard, right, and then because like there's a, a accumulation of fatigue, what ends up happening is you might feel like shit after like three or four weeks of training. Oh, yeah. For sure you're gonna feel like shit. And the, weight, and the weights that you're moving, it might feel heavy, but that's not your actual strength. Yeah. So when you taper, you usually decrease intensity or decrease volume or a combination of both. Mm -hmm. And that lets your body be able to recover mm -hmm. and you're able to reveal how strong you are. Yeah. And that's kind of like like buffing out a diamond. Exactly. Like that, so to speak, right? So for, uh, for people that are training, when you can hit, like there's tons of people that can only pull like let's say 500 or maybe 550 when they're extremely fatigued at the end of their workout yeah but then on meet day they can pull 600 because yeah. they tapered very well yeah so you're literally breaking your body down like you're tearing your 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 um your muscle fibers so they can actually repair and come back stronger because that's what your body's doing 
it's this thing called Wolf's Law where your body's actually adjusting and adapting to the stress that it's being exposed to. Um, so like Bart was saying, like you're you're gonna feel like shit. Like usually when you're training for me and you get closer to me day, it's gonna be a lot worse. But you, you kind of want to get to that point, but not too much because then you might peak too soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I've, I've experienced that firsthand where I've peaked and I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm questioning like all of my lips because I'm like, wait, what's happening? Like, mm -hmm. is my like, why is my form breaking down this way? Why is it that something I can hit two weeks ago? Now I'm grinding it out. Like, yeah. what the fuck is happening? And it's, you know, it was revealed to me that it was because I'm like peaking at that time. Yeah. But then once I started like tapering down, and I started like, or you're fatiguing at that mm -hmm. time. I'm fatiguing, yeah. And then once I started tapering down, then I'm like, oh shit, okay, here we go, it's coming back. And then yeah. midday, I feel a hundred percent like 110 percent and i'm like oh dang as soon as i touch something it just flies right yeah up. hell yeah i'm like science yeah rest what? is really good i like to do active recovery personally yeah. where ac active recovery is just where you're literally exercising at a very very light like i don't know it doesn't even have to be like heavy at all it could be 50 percent at most honestly and uh you're just running through the motions again just to kind of get blood flow more than anything yeah. right. not really to stress your body out um, and you're still like conditioning your body. It's, it's, it's kind of like bodybuilding in, in a way too, but it doesn't have to be stressful either. It should be fun. Yeah, and active active recovery can also be done outside of the gym. Like Hell yeah. Hiking or playing yeah. softball or just doing something that, you know. You yeah, can having lots of sex. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, that can See not... you later, Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What is that? I don't train on Sundays. Oh. I gotta actively recover. <laughs> That's true. Active recovery. You I don't, know, don't, do it, don't do it too much. You can still definitely get some. <laughs> no, it's from very that. healthy. Yeah. I, I mean, shit. If you're picking her up and shit, then you're fucking gonna be all fatigued <laughs> all over again. Beat you at the room, girl. <laughs> I tried picking someone up before. I almost broke my back. Oh really? <sighs> but louder. That was before he met me. Let's not talk about those times. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> if there are any topics you guys like. For us to discuss, go ahead and share them in the comment section below. Until next time, y'all, like the video, subscribe, and do this. And what's cool at, at Barbell, it's like everyone stops. Like the weightlifters will come and they'll they'll cheer on the strong man. Yeah. And they'll, the strong man will cheer on the power lifter. Yeah. And they'll even cheer on like the, the CrossFit. Yeah, I was like talking, the, even like, the CrossFit, like whatever they're doing, you, I'm just like, fuck, I'll die if I do that. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. That shit is crazy. I've died before doing it. <laughs> I don't do that shit. I died almost watching. I was yeah, like, me too.